What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. And we back again, man. Daniel Taylor, Quincy Blunt, Atlanta Falcons. We, we trying to kick up right here. Y'all all know, man, the single back ace, half back counter. We run that play the first play of every game, and it's either going to be a big play, like sometimes usually is, or we're going to get stopped in the backfield. Like, rarely it happens because Daniel Taylor is too strong, man. Number 12, playing running back, he's just too, he's just too strong. Like, I remember when I first, when I first started out with Daniel Taylor on the Miami Dolphins, he was a little skinny, wasn't really ready, wasn't built for the NFL. Relied basically on his speed, but now he done changed his whole life. You feel me? He got bigger, got way bigger, and you can see from right there. That's Harrison Smith. He is not a soft safety, but Daniel Taylor, he just runs him over like like it's nothing. But and Pete jumping on his back, bro, on his back, he's just walking with him. But I don't understand. I don't know why it's legal for Daniel Taylor to be in the NFL and to play running back because he's just probably one of the strongest running backs in the league. And you know what I'm saying? You're going to need more than one person to tackle. You got He's going to break the first tackle like every play. He did that a lot last season before he started missing games. And I think the Falcons are getting the screen down right. If you saw last game, Matt Ryan was – he just was not throwing the screens. I guess he, he thought Daniel Taylor was covered or, or something like that. And he wouldn't throw the screen and we would get stopped for a loss. But we get stopped in the red zone right here on fourth. It was fourth and six. Uh, Coach Dan Quinn was like, yo, we got <laughs> we got Daniel Taylor. Why, why would we need to pass? Stick to what we're doing, you know what I'm saying? So we won the ball on fourth and six and end up not getting it. But our defense is tough. Quincy Blunt is there stopping this counter play. From the start, we shot the gap. Adrian Peterson is sick. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't played for a long time. I haven't seen Adrian Peterson play in a long time because, you know, you know, I had child abuse or whatever. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? It don't really matter to me. But Quincy Blunt will be stopping Adrian Peterson all day, today. Back on offense, man. Zero to zero. Coming across the middle. Two people still fighting for yards. I got the trade on. He's just too strong for him. Coming up. Inches to go for the first down. We just hand it off. Almost break free, but I tripped up a little bit trying to get off of the get get out of the blockers way. And we end up laying on some people. But what I'm doing here is like I'm just trying to I got like a couple of basic plays that I use to make sure that if I do pass it or if Matt Ryan does choose to pass it, I'm kind of on screen to see the pass. But plays like this, I was there and I get the nice block. Yeah. They, ain't even think, they don't think Daniel Taylor can block, but Daniel Taylor can block. Get the nice block on that play. Fourth down again, and you know we're getting the first down this time. It was fourth and three. But um, I do try to pick plays where I got routes that's, that's close to everybody else, like this play right here. It was three on one side versus two on the other. And Matt Ryan threw it downfield. We got to the one-yard line, so definitely a good pass. I didn't see it happen, though. You know, the camera angles is different. But we end up doing the play action. They fall forward. My boy Levine Toy Lolo with the catch. That man is 6'8. But I think he's taller than Gronk, but he does not have hands like Gronk in real life. I think he had like the most dropped, most dropped passes uh, in, in the league. I'm like, uh, if he gets better, you know, he'd definitely be a problem with his height. But defense, on the other hand, man, Quincy Blunt. Just Coy Beerman, Quincy Blunt, bar two is just too. It's just too nice. Of course, you want to miss this tackle right here. I'd be mad when I miss a tackle like that. I'd be waiting for it. Maybe I shouldn't wait for it. I should just go up. I should go smack Adrian Peterson. That's what I'd be thinking. But I don't do that. They try to do a screen. They forgot the Quincy Blunt was on the team, I guess. They, they can't do those. But they say, oh, we can't do it to Quincy Blunt side. Do it to the other side. That still doesn't work. Quincy Blunt was almost there to make the tackle. But... The defense held him up again. Corey Beerman was in on that tackle. I think that was a cornerback or something. But they try another screen. Quincy Blunt is there again. What is wrong with the Vikings coaches? Now, I know in real life, you see Dan Quinn on the sideline. <laughs> Actually changed uh, Mike Smith and put, I, I guess that was the guy that looked the most like Dan Quinn. I looked him up. He was, had a baldy, had a little goatee or whatever. 
And I, he looked most like him. But I do like the coaching staff of the Atlanta Falcons as Teddy Bridgewater gets injured after they attempted another screen pass. But we blocking here again with Dan Taylor. But I do like the new coaching staff. We got a defensive coordinator. He used to be the linebackers coach for the Broncos. Got Dan Quinn. He used to be the defensive coordinator for the Seahawks. And that's basically... We, we needed some defense. Like, I, I guess we're going to get... We got to have great... Great free agency because we do need the defense. The offense is like, I could say probably might need a running back, need a need an O line. You even need to, you need, all right. Offense first priority. You need an O line in real life. Like you you gonna need the O line to be good. If you have a good O line, you really would not need a great running back. And that's how that's how it usually is. Because you can ask me. I, I like Demarco Murray. And I know he gets injured, but I still like him. But I don't think he would have done had the season he has had if he was on the Falcons because the old line is like that's the that's the base of the running game. If your old line is not good, you're not going to be able to run the ball even if you Marshawn Lynch or if you Adrian Peterson or you Demarco Murray or whatever. And that's basically what the Falcons need to, to work in on. They do another screen pass. I guess the offensive coordinator of the Vikings said, "Forget this. We gonna run it because they running it on their offense." So. That does not work for them. We come up again in the backfield, shooting gaps. Adrian Peterson not having a good day, bro. Averaging 2.7 yards. That's all right, three yards. Three. We give him three yards, a rush. We coming in with the Quincy Blitz. No time to throw the ball. We we up there, man. Quincy, Quincy Blunt 40 time was a four flat, bro. A four flat. He set a record, bro. <laughs> coming out on offense again, man. We do the counter. We know we beating them already. Bouncing off a hit by Harrison Smith. Stiff arming somebody. Get dragged down by three people. This is what we do out here, man. We, we run the ball. We do screens. Do play action. And that's how we win. Because we got one of the best running backs in the league. Get off of me. What the? Why is this legal? That was a defensive lineman. About 300, 270, 270, 280 pounds right there. Like, just carrying them and struggling them off. You know what I'm saying, man? It's this is crazy, man. We trying to kick on the Buccaneers, trying to close out the game, just running the ball, fighting for yards, hitting the 360, going to the ground, and they call the timeout. Fourth and inches right here. We coming up, skipped a couple plays, and you know what we gonna do? We gonna hand it off to Dan Taylor. We gonna get the first down. Came up again off the single back ace. Just ran the ball in. No celebrations. Just jog off the field. I saw him jog off. Look, look at him. Look at him. He's Marshawn Lynch, bro. Marshawn Lynch does what he does because of, of Daniel Taylor, you feel me? But now, defense is coming out, man. Under a minute left. I try to get this big hit right here, but I went kind of behind him. You know, I, that's, I do do that a lot, but sometimes they just run out of bounds like he just did there, so I kind of miss. And they come up, they launch the ball, got the first down somehow. So we coming up, man, under 30 seconds left. The defense know the game over there in this Hail Mary Hail Mary situations, Quincy Blunt playing, and the tight end breaks the tackle. Haven't seen that in a while, but they do how to do a hurry up. Quincy comes on the blitz, almost gets the quarterback, but he got held up by the running back. Come up with a no huddle again. Blitz is coming. The running back doesn't block. Quincy Blunt gets the sack to close out the game. Quincy Blunt shaking Matt Ryan head because, you know, Quincy, yo, the, the offense now with Daniel Taylor, the team is unstoppable. I know I said this before, but definitely the Super Bowl is in mind right here. Zero points in the first, but it's seven in each quarter after. I'm pretty sure. Nah, Daniel Taylor, I think he scored two two touchdowns. My boy Toy Lolo scored one. I think I think Daniel Taylor had two. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure he had two. But you know what I'm saying? I will be streaming on Twitch. I haven't started yet, but I said I was, but I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe at the end when this video is getting posted up, something like that. But I will be start streaming. I'll start streaming the Ultimate Team. My Ultimate Team, I, you know, I'm a team like an 80, 81, or 79 overall or something like that. Around 80, not really great. I stopped playing a while back. So if you want to give me some cards... I don't even want your cards. Never mind. I was going to ask for cards. I'm not asking. I'm just going to play. I'm going to knock people out. I'm going to just get some games in. 
I'll probably play some play some viewers or something like that. Go to the seasons and kick on people and do what I do. Feel me? But you see the stats right here, man. Quincy Bunt wilding again. But this video is about to come to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust. I'm out.